Lorenzo has substantially intensified over the course of today, now with winds of at least 130 miles per hour and a pressure of 950 millibars, latest satellite indications. The storm could yet be even stronger than that and could intensify further this evening. On the CDPS scale, we're still looking at the island of Flores in western Azores, Portugal, October the 2nd. Uh, stage 5 on the CDPS scale, devastating potential. That's mainly due to the winds and wind size of the storm, which is already quite, quite large as we look at this screen here. 240 nautical miles of uh, wind, uh, gale force winds in the northeastern quadrant. It's 23.3 north, 44.8 degrees west, by the way, over the central Atlantic, 1362 miles from the island of Flores, 1410 from Horta, 1474 from Tessera, 1505 from Ponta Delgada, and 2749 from Cork Island. The storm's still not moving particularly quickly just yet, up to about 11 miles per hour movement in the north-northeasterly direction. That will continue over the next seven days. This is the rainfall expectations. Um, I shouldn't say seven, it's a bit less than that. It will start curving towards the northeast after day two or three. Through the western Azores, could still have a category two force winds of over 100 miles per hour at that point, and gradual weakening as it turns post-tropical later on. Rainfall expectations on the islands about two or three inches quite possibly in some areas. Sea surface temperatures remaining very warm for a little while yet, up to 27 degrees for the next two days or so before gradually cooling off. So here's a look at the uh, wind graphic then. Uh, so green areas, that's tropical storm force winds. Yellow is hurricane force winds and you see a lot of oranges there. That's major hurricane force winds there as we enter this coming week. Look at how the wind field expands throughout the course of Tuesday in particular there. Moving through the Azores, multiple islands could get hurricane force winds by then and it will then sweep off to north, towards the northeast. Models are suggesting it will weaken rapidly after passing the Azores so threats to Europe will be um, mitigated slightly by that. This is what the models are saying. You can see that down tick towards the end there um, of that run. But in the meantime, up to about day four, uh, it's looking pretty good for the storm, could maintain wind speeds of 90, 100 miles per hour roughly. Wind shear is moderate at the moment, will drop again in a day or two. Sea surface temperatures remaining warm for a good two days, relative humidity not so bad. Models uh, still not certain about what will happen after the Azores just yet. Um, there's a bit of a divergence on day five. Here's how the storm's been looking today then. Uh, the eye has become a little bit more clear. There was quite a well-defined um, dry slot actually on the set on the southern side earlier today possibly an open eye that has become less apparent throughout the course of today so that in terms of the storm is good news um, but with regards to the eye that's also been looking much better today as well it's gotten a little bit deeper temperatures in the eye now down to about eight uh, or up to about eight or nine degrees Celsius and cloud tops have really been blowing up a lot on the north and northwestern side throughout the course of today as well which is really responsible for pushing that um, wind estimate up based on satellite. Now there are recon reports in the last hour or two that could be finding pressures down into the 940s. Haven't had time to confirm that one just yet but with wind speeds now probably at least 130 miles per hour based on satellite this storm is ramping up again for its secondary peak. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.